Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another Christmas tutorial for Christmas flower seed beads bracelet. Consider subscribing, with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more tutorials. I'm showing this bracelet e really easy and step by step and now let's get started with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads, red, green and golden. The Christmas colors and you could use 10 or seed beads if you don't have 11 o's they also work by the way down there in description uh, you will find the full list of materials my Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me link for PayPal donations link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you become a member of this channel now let's continue this is a toggle clasp you could use other type of clasp you want and two jump rings this is nylon island thread that is 0.2 millimeters or size d uh, you could use other beading thread of your choice this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that i use to attach my toggle clasp to my work okay so now i'm going to take about 1.2 meters of thread which is four feet of thread and i'm going to start Okay guys, and I'm starting the first element of my bracelet as I pick up 12 red beads. Okay, I have my 12 here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I make it by make a loop and go twice or three times through this loop I've made then pull really gently like this and then make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure okay this is the first step that I do when I start now I want to go through some beads in this direction Okay, and in my next step, I'm going to take the next color, which is green, and I'm taking three green beads. And as I'm exiting here through this red, I'm skipping the one that's on my way, and I'm going through the following. You see what I do? And pull. Take another three greens. Skip the one that's on your way and go through the following. This is what you do. Okay, I'm going to show it slowly one more time. It's really easy. Just exit here. Take three, skip one and go through the following. And now, guys, I need to do this until the end. Okay, and here is the last loop of three beads that I'm adding. And now guys, this is what I have. In my next step, what I want to do is go through these green beads. Then exit through these two greens here. And take two golden beads. And now go back like this through the two green beads. Okay. and then continue like this go through all the three beads and then through this one and this one and as I'm exiting here I'm taking two golden beads and I'm going back through these two beads in circle pulling then go through 
the next three like this and repeat the same thing now continue this until the end of this row Okay, and uh, I finished this row the same way. If it was too fast for you, just rewind to the first part where I showed the first three and repeat it from here. And now how we are going to continue. I'm going through these two beads like this. One more time. And I take a golden, a red and a golden. Okay, this is what I have and I go back like this through these two beads okay then I'm going to take a green one and go through the next green okay then another green and go through the next two goldens Okay, now I will repeat the same thing. I take the same sequence, golden, red, golden. Go back through these two beads. A green. And like this and golden red golden okay guys and I will continue these steps from this side and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm finishing this row by adding my last green bead here if, i hope you did it if not rewind the video see the first three steps and repeat them from here now in my next step i want to go in this direction through this golden here you see where i am and I'm going to pick up three golden beads and I'm going here through this golden and through the following green like this now here what I need is one red bead and I'm going in the next green Okay. Then I go through this golden here and I add three goldens and I go here through the golden and through the green. This is what I do. Then another red one go through this red filling the gap between the greens then again through the golden three goldens go here and through the following green and take one red and I think you got the idea. I will meet you when I'm up to here. And here, guys, I'm adding my last red bead from this row. And when I add it, I continue in this direction. And my goal is to exit 
out of the next red bead. And as I'm exiting here through this red one, I take two greens and I go here. In the second golden counting from here, or one bead away be before this one that's sticking out the most, and I go through the following two. In fact, I go through this top three here. Then I take two more green beads and I go in the red again. And again, two greens. And as I take them, I go through the top three goldens of my flower. And this is what I will be doing until the end of this row. I think it's a really easy and pleasant row. And you could do it just fine by yourself. And I'll meet you here. And here I am, guys, where I'm adding my last two beads from this row, like this. Now, what I want to do is go through these two green beads. Here I am. And I'm taking two greens and go in the middle golden bead. Then again, the same thing. Take two greens and go in the first green here, like this. Now I'm going to take two golden beads and go here in this green. Okay, this is what I have. And take two greens, go through the top here. Two more greens and go in the first green. And take two goldens, go in the first green. And then add two by two more of these green beads going through the top of this flower. And now it comes the golden and I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I have two golden beads and with them I finish my work. My row I mean. And now what I want to do is go through the first two green beads here that I added in my previous row. I'm taking just one green and going in this direction through the next three green beads, okay? Now I have this gap filled here and I go through the goldens. And what I wanna take here are three red beads and I go back through these goldens, just like that. Then through the next two greens. And I want to fill this gap here. Filling it and going through the next three greens. And then through these two goldens. And I take three. And I go here like that in circle through these goldens and then I want to reach the top to fill the gap so I'm going through all of those beads I take one green okay like this then through the two Goldens and I take three reds and I go back. 
Okay guys, and I'm going to continue and this is the last row of my element and I'll be back to tell you how to finish it. Okay, and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now what I want to do is cut my thread and how I do this. I go through some beads in this direction. And I choose a place, let's say here, at the angle. And here is where I want to make my knot. How I do this, I make here a loop. And I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure this loop is between the two beads where I started the knot from and pull. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several times. And when you're ready with the last knot, cut your thread. And now the first element of my bracelet is ready. Make more of those elements. Okay, I made two more. And uh, what is the difference here? The difference is that I flipped the colors. Here, uh, the background is green, here is golden, and here is red. And now I will take a new thread on my needle, let's say again about 4 feet of thread, 1.2 meters, and I'll be back to show you how I assemble the first three elements of my bracelet. Okay, and I have my three elements and my thread, and I'm going to arrange, arrange them this way. First the one with the golden background, then with the green, and then with the red. Okay, I'm arranging them like this. It's up to you. You could do one color. You could do only elements like this or you could choose one of the other uh, color flips. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how I make my bracelet, how I start my bracelet. Okay, first I take this flower that I chose and I want to attach the new thread that I put on my needle here. And how I do this, I go through some beads here and I make here a loop and go like this and pull. Then what I want to do is exit here through the golden bead that is sticking out the most. And by the way, I'm going to get rid of this thread here, the tail thread. Now here, what I want to do is make a loop of beads and I'm going to take five green beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going back through this golden and here guys uh, is where I'm going to attach my clasp later. Now I'm going to reinforce this okay now I want to attach my next element and what shall I do to do this? I will show you faster. I will reposition my thread to go out of this side, just the opposite part of my element. Okay, and I'm here at the opposite part. And in my next step, I'm going to take this uh, element with the green background and I want to attach this one here, this bead to this bead. And they are golden and green. That is why I'm going to take the third color, which is red, and I'm going to connect them with it. 
okay i take one red and i go like this then i take one more red and i go like this and i pull then i wanna reinforce okay and you could leave it like this by the way uh, this way of attachment but i just wanna add one more element here okay as i'm exiting through this red bead what i want to take are three more red beads and go back like this through this red one then reinforce then i will go through these beads here and i will repeat it from the other side okay guys and now my first two elements are attached and now i want to attach the same way this third element how i do this i go through all of those beads i come here and i attach those two with the golden beads because they are green and red okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and the same way i showed you before i attached this element to this one and i will continue making more and more elements i will make at least three more and i will attach them and i'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet and here i am guys as i continued attaching my elements now i have six elements added i made this joint here as i showed you before then i went through all of those beads and i exited here and here I will make the same loop of beads like I did here. I will do this off camera because I already showed you how I'm making it. And after I do this, I will make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'll be back to show you how to attach your clasp. And now I'm almost ready with my Christmas bracelet. And what I want to do next is show you how to attach your clasp and i'm taking first my jump ring i open it up i put it here in this loop of beads that i showed you how i did and then i put part of my toggle clasp here and then what i do is that i squeeze back and now guys i have this and i will repeat it from the other side okay and now i repeated the same thing from here and now my bracelet is ready okay guys so now my christmas flowers beaded bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and be inspired often down there in description you will find full list of materials facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me link for paypal donations link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.